Hi, this is Pete, and this one is for my Introduction to Finger Picking class, and it's Will the Circle Be Unbroken? This is from Bruce Emery's wonderful book on Travis Picking, and here we go. I'll play it once and break it down. One, two... <laughs> Okay, so we have three chords. We have a C chord, we have an F chord, and you notice with this F chord, I'm fretting the top four strings with three fingers, and I'm using my thumb over the top to fret the, the F and the bass. Um, this is important if you're playing fingerstyle blues in particular. You're going to need at some point to get into this idea of the thumb going over the top. Uh, and then the last chord would be an A minor, or excuse me, there's four chords, A minor, A minor 7, and then a G. Okay, so this is an alternating bass. And uh, I have some other lessons on alternating bass and just beginning finger picking. So um, if this is new to you, you might want to check out those videos. Um, but this basically you're grounded by the alternating bass all on the downbeat and then the melody is played with the bass notes so for instance this first measure of c will the circle so that's the melody right there played on the downbeat with the bass notes throughout now this is one of several different versions of the song that Bruce does in his book. And each time it gets a little more complicated. Sometimes the, the melody ends up becoming a combination of with the bass notes and between the bass notes. And then I'll add things like hammer-ons and pull-offs and things like that. But for this first one, it's everything's played on the downbeat. So if I play the first line, thing you've got to keep track of here is occasionally you're going to bring in your pinky to play the third fret on the second string. I'll do it again from the top. Right there, that D note gets played on the third uh, fret of the second string. And then right there again at the end. Then we shift to this F chord with the thumb over the top to play the bass. Notice the pinky comes in again to play that D note. Back to C. Little move right there um, at the end of the second bar of C here, uh, eighth bar in. And I'm using my first finger that's usually on that second string first fret, and I move it over to the third string at the second fret. Um, then right back to my C. Okay, there's a little transition going on here. We're about to go to the A minor chord, but before we do that, I put my pinky down. Lead that pinky as an anchor switching to the A minor chord. This is a pretty simple change. My C is here, and then my A minor is basically just lifting my third finger off. Bring that pinky in to play that D note again on that third fret of the second string. So let me play the two bars of C into the A minor. One, two, three, four. Back to C, the 
G. In this case, I'm only fretting two strings, the sixth string and the second string. And back to C. Let me play that one more time from the top. One, two. Pinky. 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 First finger. Pinky. So that's the first version of Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Good luck.